Thanks for tuning in to the White Line Product Spotlight. I'm Doug Seaton. Today we're going to talk about adjustable sway bars. Uh, we often get asked a few questions. Why do we make adjustable sway bars and they don't come adjustable from OE? Well, the OE manufacturers like to decide for the driver and for the particular vehicle what size sway bar they want on that car. It also lets them decide what handling characteristics are available from that vehicle. Now for us being white line, we want to be able to give the driver back the adjustability and the, and the decisions to how they tune their vehicle. Everybody drives differently. So today we're going to talk about advertised sway bar size. So a very quick look, come on in. What we're going to talk about is how we make an adjustable sway bar. Okay, so you can see here there's a few different versions. There's the two hole version, the three hole version, and a four hole version. Now you might ask why we don't just make all of them four hole, three hole, two hole. We want to keep the adjustability to a, to a level at which keeps the car still safe. Now, to, to um, verify or to say how we make them adjustable, by changing the distance between the D-bush mounting and where the sway bar link bolts on, we actually change the reaction or the lever force that's within the sway bar. So by bringing the sway bar link closer to the D-bush, we're making that sway bar stronger. By moving the link away, we're making that arm longer, making the sway bar softer. With advertised sway bar rates, because we often get asked this question as well is, what size is that sway bar? Now just to confuse things a little bit, on a two hole sway bar, the advertised size, if we say that's 22 millimetres, is actually right in the middle of those two holes. So this is actually a 22 and a half or a 21 and a half mil sway bar. So again, moving away from the D-bush makes the sway bar softer. When we go to a three hole adjustable bar, D-bush sits roughly here, the middle hole is, this, is the advertised size. So if this is a 24 mil sway bar, that's 24. We go one away from the D-bush, makes it 23. We come one closer to the D-bush, we make that a 25 mil sway bar. All right, when we go to the four hole sway bar, this is the D-bush right back up here. Second from the end is where we're going to put our advertised size. We go, say this is a 24 mil bar, one away from the D-bush, 23. Back to 24, 25 and 26. All right, so that's how we roughly do our sway bar listings. If you want to know more information about the sway bar rate, the sliding scale is actually on the website. So for that and other information, please visit whiteline.com.au.